Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am expanding my numbered series of builds. So yeah, I have a lot of builds that are shaped like a number and yeah, I thought I still haven't done five so I'm going to do that today. And I decided to do it into, build it into a residential lot. I have done like parks, so other types of builds already but this time I really wanted to do a residential lot. And I decided after I built a shell to flip the number on the lot because the space between the bottom like curve part was a little bit bigger than the space on the top. So I decided it would make more sense to have the curve part in like the backyard area just because it's a little bit more space. And as you can see, I had the layout down. Now I just needed to do like the backyard layout because I wanted the door to be on the um, like middle part of the five. And it didn't make sense how I did the like stair area. So yeah, I needed to change that a little bit. And now I am doing all the doors and putting them down and then I moved on to the windows and I really wanted like black and white for like the doors and windows just because I wanted to I thought it would look cool and yeah as you can see I used really large ones into the backyard and a little bit smaller ones into like more of the public areas and especially into the bathroom and the gym or what's going to be the bathroom and the gym. At the moment I hadn't put down any furniture yet so yeah it wouldn't be clear until later what is the bathroom and what is the gym. But it's the one, the two rooms next to the kitchen so spoiler alert kind of. And yeah now I'm doing the kitchen and I kept to the black and white color scheme and I'm going to continue that mainly at least until I go for the wall color because that is going to be a uh, mint green yeah I just I really wanted the black and white but then I also really wanted a color and I thought a subtle color would be cool and uh, yeah that's why I chose mint but that's going to be later oh, I actually right now because I put down the minty like uh, table for the TV but otherwise I kept the furniture quite like black and white just because I wanted it and yeah here you can see me doing the bathroom I had two one that is next to the gym as I already said and the other one is next to the bedrooms for the parents and the one child that they have in the bedroom of the parents I kept to that like minty or bluish tone and put furniture down that is in that color. I especially wanted to match the green of the dresser to the one that I put down for the TV table, but it didn't quite match. Almost, but not quite. In the child's bedroom, I specifically wanted to use that like burgundy bed and with a like pinkish bed frame. And yeah, that's how I chose the color scheme for the whole room. I decided to just use pink everywhere. Then I moved to the opposite side of the whole house and put down some desks in the office. And then I decided to put skill building items into the area which was still empty. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do there. Originally I wanted the like flat part where the door is to be like the dining room area, the formal one, but with the table that I chose, the round one, it didn't make sense. And also it would be a little bit strange to have the dining room there because of the door. So I decided against that. And in the end, I just decided to put as many skill building items down as would make sense. So yeah, I put down the piano and the card table, the chess table and some couches as well to listen to the piano. Yeah, and that was like all of the main furniture down. And now you can see me putting down the 
mint color inside and outside so it's like straight up minty everywhere basically I just chose like in the um, in the bathrooms I chose another thing because I wanted tile there and it wasn't like a minty tile so I used the gray like top part and the tile that is like a turquoise color almost I thought it would fit well with the mint that I had everywhere else so I chose that now I'm just putting down some more landscaping also in the backyard and in the planter box that I had there and then I continued with the windows I had already put down some already because yeah I knew where the furniture would be approximately but I wasn't quite sure everywhere so I decided to hold off off on that and do it a little bit later so that's why I did some more windows right just now and then I did the lighting and I put down like those small saucer lights everywhere basically just did some accent lights in the dining room with like a chandelier and I have also some like standing lights and desk lights just where it made sense to have something else as well and then I moved on to clutter items such as the knife block and some gardening tools, some wall things and of, also, of course also carpets. I chose carpets that fit very well to the color scheme. So like greenish carpets, minty carpets and in the children's bedroom of course also a little bit of pink. And then I moved on to other clutter items and put them down. I also put down curtains everywhere and because I had quite a few windows there were a lot of curtains going around and I chose the hanging curtains that you could like convince yourself that they could be pulled across the whole like set of windows so sometimes I just put one curtain down and like pretended that the sims would pull them over the other windows as well. And now I'm doing the last finishing touches with the plants and I chose the ones with the white pots and then I was finished. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!